Welcome to our Monday morning meditation. Good to see you all. So good to see you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got stuff going on. Ah, so I was thinking about um, what we're going to talk about today. And I have really liked to keep our Monday morning meditation as, as um, secular as I possibly can contain myself. And this morning, it just was not going there. So I'm going to, I'm going to stretch, stretch us a little bit today. And, um, you know, one of, one of the points that was coming up today was, was how important it is that we are in touch with something greater than ourselves. Um, I think the hardest situation that shows up in my work as a therapist is when somebody doesn't have a sense of something beyond themselves um, because it's hard to come up with you know well, why are we here then and, and what's the purpose of this and who's helping me and how do I get out of the situation and, and what is it that I can tap into that will give me strength and hope and it doesn't matter what that something greater looks like or how you define it. It doesn't matter at all. Just to know that we are not alone. And um, when we sit for a meditation time, what is it that we're wanting? What is it that we think we're tapping into? You know, it, it's, yeah, that we've got the physical benefits of meditation. It calms the heart rate and regulates our breathing. Um, I have heard people say that their blood pressure has gone down um, consistently over time. And, and of course, all those things are wonderful. But we're also tapping into, you know, my goodness, at the very least, a higher part of our brain that works in cooperation with what's happening versus our emotions that mm, can resist what's going on in our world that can resist um, what's happening in the moment, can resist other people, can resist situations, you know, our, our emotions and, you know, along with those emotions, our opinions and um, ideas of how things are supposed to be, which run up against how things are happening, <laughs> you know, and, and when we can step back from those situations and calm our emotions and calm our minds, we can tap into a higher part of our brains, if you want to look at it that way, um, that can help see a different solution and help solve our problems. But ultimately, we are tapping into something even bigger than that. And um, that's just that's just our message for today. So we're going to sit with that. And I invite you to get comfortable in your chairs if you're not already. And just let yourself melt into your the space where you are. And allow yourself a moment to get comfortable if you feel discomfort anywhere in your body. And sometimes we have discomfort in the body that's just going to be there. And we just let it. We just let it with compassion and gentleness. We further support this relaxation and letting go using our breath. We can use our quick breath method of, which isn't quick at all, but very calm and relaxed. Just breathing in to the count of four and breathing out to the count of four. If you have your own breathing method that really resonates with you, feel free to use that instead. This isn't about 
some perfect technique. This is just about doing whatever it takes to allow our attention to go more deeply within. I invite you to get in touch with some image or sensation of being supported by that higher presence and whatever it means to you. Perhaps it feels like a calmness in your heart. Not just the physical heart, but the heart center, the radiance. Perhaps there's an image of a spiritual person, teacher, presence that you can imagine. Perhaps it's simply feeling light energy pouring forth from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, just moving through you, filling you with whatever you need for today, for this week. We are so very much supported. We tap into that support right now. such a peace that comes to tap into that which is here to support us. 
And really, we're here to be supported. To be in harmony with that support and cooperation with it. And if your mind wanders, just bring it back to your breath. We begin to the count of four. Breathing out to the count of four, just repeating that. Breathing it oh, in and out and natural rhythmic way. Our reception is better when our bodies are calm and the emotional body is calm and the mental body is calm. It doesn't have to be perfectly calm, perfectly still. It's calm enough to be receptive. Just calm enough to have the intention of listening. Even if it seems like there is no answer, we are receiving. It may show up at some other time, but it's there. All we have to do is be. If there's any emotion or thoughts coming up about a situation in your life, just let it. Just 
You can lift it into that higher presence that you're tapping into right now. It's okay if we don't know all the answers. You just turn it over and say, I have no idea what to do about this, but you do. Show me and I will do it. Do I need to forgive? Do I need to adjust my expectation? Do I need to take action? Do I need to be still? I don't know, but you do. And our stillness, our receptivity. Is our confidence that the answer is coming. It's our investment in the answer that's coming.
And we embrace all that we received. We embrace this connection time together and with that which is greater than ourself. It has added its light and energy to our time today. friend of mine this week and shared about that higher power and its, its desire to support us is often greater than our desire to have that support. So we just make this connection today and commitment tap into that more and more, at least a little bit every day, the more we tap into it, the more support we receive, the more supported by it we are throughout our day, all those responsibilities we have. It doesn't take away our responsibilities, it shows us how to move through them with clarity and love. So if you're able to continue meditating, I invite you to do that. And you can take a deep breath and know you received what you needed to receive today. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.